hello guys and welcome back to my channel this is Adi graphics in this particular tutorial i'm teaching you how to create a pencil artwork for your design pencil artwork not <laughs> just the pencil artwork all right let's just go straight so the first thing is i'll first come here and set my color now this is the, actually the angle for background i'll change come here and send the color to white okay so the next thing is i'll bring in my image which i want to work with so i'll just come here bring in my image and i'll set it here all right uh so the first thing i'll be doing is i'll come to color filter okay let's come to erase color first we'll click on this plus by default you can see this place here it's a particular color that is set on white means it will take away all the white part in this picture that's why it is set on white if you want you can add by clicking on plus and click on this pencil this pencil click on it and just position where you want to remove so you can see it has start taking away all that brown area so i don't want it i just minus to delete it all right so that's since is the white part i want to remove i'll increase the tolerance to 90 then i'll come to color increase the give it the color by default pixel lab color is set to red all right so but i don't want red i'll be giving the particular color code which is um 4e 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 now 4e 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 that's the color code right so i'll just click on plus click on that check mark click on plus and this 4e 4e just like the pencil normal pencil color all right so this is the color i'm getting now wow we're on track so the next thing i'll be doing is i'll come to color filter i'll reduce the saturation i can reduce this to 180 or increase it to 180 or it's still the same color it's going to give me then I could just come here and um, and increase the brightness a bit. Okay, so I'll just increase the contrast. Okay, so this is okay. So this is what I'm going to get. Alright, so I just set it to at 30. Alright, so I will work with this. So the next thing is come here and save. I just want to be sure because actually when I did it at first, it was I use I actually increased the brightness, but I actually want to be a situation whereby some of my clothes will, especially this side this bright side will be visible okay so that's why i'm actually i was just trying to play around the color filter so i'll just save this now that's it's if you see the color it's already like having that pencil like color so the next thing we're doing is we'll be taking it to a particular application a second app snapseed okay so I'll come to snapseed hello welcome back to snapseed now so i've brought in my image i just went here and I click on the image so it appears to me to be on my screen so the next thing i'll just come to tools come to tonia contrast then i will increase the tonia contrast i will increase the mid tones uh we increase the protective low tones you can see it's already having like a particular form i would not touch the protective shadow let me tamper with the highlights a bit the protective protect highlights let me tamper with it a bit so so let's let's just keep this one here i want this particular area my perhaps is not showing I want this particular area to be visible let me come back to so we're not touching this sharp protective shot because if i increase it you see it's having like a change of color we don't want to touch that so the protective shadow let me let i don't want to put it like this and so let's just leave it you can increase it but let's protect wow uh, i'm just okay let's just keep it in the middle i'm just looking which one will be more visible 
I think it's more visible like this. So the next one we'll be going is HDR escape. HDR escape. Now, so I can come to strong. I can come to fine. I can come to people. Um, so I think I'll stick with people. So the the color filter. So you can see it's already having this pencil-like form. Like this sketch-like form. So this is where the, the the magic is. You can just come here and play with um, color filter to just get your taste. So you can come here, come to people, and you can stick with people, or come to strong. Okay, I think strong is actually giving us a pencil-like feel. So I'll be sticking with strong and I'll just set it so you can just play around it. You can use people because I was actually skeptical because I actually use people. Now people is giving me like a nice feel. Now see strong too is giving me when I put the strong here, I'm getting something nice. Right? So I'll just click on check. You can see now this is like a pencil already. Well, I, I kind of like this. Now you can come to tools, come to um, sh shadows, and you can reduce the shadows. Okay, so when you reduce the shadows, and you can come to it to make all the dark side like pop up. Now, actually, it doesn't need any, this one, so I don't need to increase the highlights. I'll just stick with it like this. I'll just stick with what I'm having, but the shadows will just make those dark side just be more visible okay so i can you can see we're having a very very good one now i can now just come here and export so when i'm done exporting i will take it back to pixel lab so i'll just raise this now i can now just come here because i just want to the image come to from gallery and bring in this image so it takes all the entire place so i'll just come here and I'll add there's this particular element pencil and eraser. So I'll just bring it this and I'll position it because of the position of the shadow. We'll be flipping it this way. I'll just reduce the size. Then I'll so this is this is what we're having now. You can see I'm just showing you that it is pencil that we use just like it's a pencil at work right it's a pencil at work or we can bring in the other kind of pencil since this one is like obstructing we'll just bring in this one instead or we can use just use this one we'll just position it here so this one oh now this one we'll just hide this and make this other one visible all right, so I can now bring in my name, the name of my brand, um, current date, yeah. Zaxis Graphics. All right, so I'll come to um, padding. I'll just give it the padding of 10. Now, the reason I'm giving the padding of 10 is because I'll be using like a script font to write this. So I will come to change the font to font to shellin now this is one of the default faults in my pixel lab right so i'll just like reduce the i can use this as a, as a graphics here i'll just position it here but i will also be changing the color to this pencil color now, the pencil color we used before all right so it is now it is just like a perfect artwork so you can still come here probably you want to add some like touch to this pen too you can increase the contrast then reduce the brightness of the pen too to give it like you it help you to to just add a touch on the the contrast of the, the pen too all right so this is what we have we can now come here and oh i clicked on this thing by mistake undo by mistake so i'll just tamper with this and also 10. all right so that's all for this particular tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i hope you've gotten value 
see in the next video peace out all right so after i'm done pixel art tends to reduce the quality of your designs i usually still take it back to um take my work back to snapseed just come here and add a bit of structure or you can just come here and sharpen it and you can add a bit of structure to it because now if I, and I if it's a lab just tend to reduce the quality but if you don't like the the one you'll be getting again you can still just reduce it a bit not too much I, I like i'm looking at this one i think it's too much i'll just come here and i'll edit it so the structure should be three and i just think the sharpening should be to add a bit of noise on your design because this image already having noise all right so i'll just stick with this so that is all for this particular tutorial we we'll see in the next video okay so that's all for this particular tutorial please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and i hope you gain value from this video you can watch my other videos so see in the next video